They boarded us in like cattle. The young. The old. It was dark. With no windows or outside light, we began to lose track of time. Had we been on the train five minutes or five days? The only sound was the wailing of the train horn and the endless infinitive rattle of iron tracks hitting metal wheels. The only thing we could see was the shadows from outside light escaping through a small crevice between the door and the floor. There was a woman among us, a certain Miss Skatchner. She had been separated from her husband and sons, and she sat in a dazed silence in the center of the room. Fire! I see a fire! Look, Jews, listen to me! Don't you hear it? The crisp crackle of the flames in the train cart. It's quiet at first, but they're getting louder! Look at the fire! The terrible fire! Have mercy on me! The flames! Be warned, they will engulf you! They will engulf us in flames! Someone pressed up against the bars to see. There was nothing. Only the darkness of night. Miss Skatchner had lost her mind on the first day of the journey. What do we do? She's just gonna keep screaming. Someone make her quiet! The poor woman is thirsty! The poor woman is out of her mind! She'll eventually stop! Please listen to me! Flames will all be turned into ash! It's going to be okay. She's hallucinating because she's a thirsty old woman. Mrs. Shockman, it'll be okay. You'll find your husbands and your son soon. Flames! Uh, make her quiet! <laughs> Come on! Don't you see the shut flames? Shut up right now! Come on! Stop arguing! Hey, let no, the flames! Stop arguing! Shut up! No, it doesn't matter! She's an old woman! Okay. Miss Skatchner had lost her mind on the first day of the journey.